Namaste to everyone. How many of you all like being lazy? Basically, laziness is an unwillingness to use energy. All the while, we've been taught that lazy people can achieve nothing in life. Also, that hard work and being active are the most important keys to success. Yes, they are. But it doesn't mean that lazy people cannot ever succeed in life. Maybe they might hunt for an easier way to complete the task. Did you ever think why were the escalators made? It must be to save time and energy. This invention helped people to make work easy and smart. So you see, it is an idea that popped out from the walkers. Moreover, everybody deserves a day to relax and let go. Laziness is the first step towards efficiency. Sometimes people just want to save their energy. Let me give an example. If you see a person sleeping before the race, the first thought that hits our mind is, he or she is too lazy. But did we ever think they simply might be conserving energy? Sometimes doing nothing is important. Nowadays, people want to indulge themselves in each and everything. That does not provide them time to think about things calmly. So one needs to be calm because that will help creative ideas to incubate. When we get really bored, our mind starts wandering. But today, in the world of hyperactivity, we enjoy all the luxury except time that idle requires. To lace is to reconnect with others and not accomplish any great purposes. And that's the point to have no apparent point. Leave the stress baggage at the door and relax. Being lazy is just as creative as other art, to love ourselves. This definitely doesn't pertain to be sitting on bed and eating junk food. Rather, it is to step out of the stress and know yourself. It is redefining yourself. The only rule is that don't push yourself, let go of guilt and give yourself a break. You might find that laziness leads to some of the most productive hours of your life. Psychology suggests that doing nothing is essential for creativity and innovation. A person seeming inactive might actually cultivate new insights. There are certain qualities that lazy people do possess. They are inventive. When it comes to organizing work, they don't waste time on unnecessary things and stick to the point. Example, people were too lazy to scoop the soil, so they invented digging machine. Also, instead of cleaning manually, they invented vacuum cleaner. Who knows, maybe the lazy ones were behind all the great inventions. They know when to rest. The most important is to know when to take a break from your daily schedule. They are more relaxed. They don't rush everything and don't jump from one thing to other. Also, lazy ones have fewer worries and can calmly handle their job. They know their goals. They know how to focus on their, go on their goals and move at their own pace. Creative laziness doesn't describe mastering your time. It implies to be planned and not rush, causing sense of dissatisfaction. We need to allow ourselves to have daily stopping points. Laziness can be a strong motivation too. We all have a mindset that it's terrible of being lazy. But honestly, nobody can say that lazy days are enjoyable. This definitely doesn't mean that parents should encourage their kids to be lazy. But it can be useful to push people into thinking of much easier ways to help execute their task. The subconscious mind sends the signal of lack of interest or tiredness when we want to escape the problems in our life. We feel mentally or emotionally drained off. Moreover, these, these signals impact our mood too. To conclude, laziness is not as terrible as people think. An author once quoted, laziness is a sickness to success. Let laziness be used as a mean to regain control over one's body and time positively. Remember, it's not always bad being lazy. Thank you.